Imagine your family. We tend to think of our parents, siblings, and grandparents. Maybe a dog or a cat or a rabbit. Can we put our house plants in the mix? I'm sure if there's any plant moms watching, they might say yes. What about the bacteria in our gut? I'm sure you heard the phrase, we are all connected. In my research, I studied those connections. And one of the ways that we connect in society is through family. It's easy to think of ourselves as social beings and maybe other animals too, like dogs and chimpanzees. They all recognize family, communicate with each other and make decisions. Can we say that plants and bacteria can do the same? Can we say that they are social too? Whether you say yes or no, I'm interested to know what it is to be social. My research is in philosophy, and most of what we do in philosophy is try to solve jigsaw puzzles. I'm trying to build a better way to recognize and understand social systems. So my puzzle pieces are pieces of data from many different fields that usually do not talk to each other, like animal behavior, plant communication, and social systems. Using all those puzzle pieces, I'm proposing that all social systems have three building blocks, interactions, relationships, and cognitive individuals. First, social systems are interactive systems. There is no sociality without interactions. Second, through our interactions, we build relationships, like our partnerships and friendships. Animals, as well as plants, can also select who they interact with. For example, a mother plant can recognize its babies and send more resources to them. This is an example of a relationship. The third building block of social systems are the indi individuals that are part of it. Those individuals need to be cognitive. They need to perceive the environment and respond to it flexibly. Here again, plants and bacteria seem to be cognitive and new data have shown that they have forms of memory and learning. Yeah, plants and bacteria seem to be good candidates to be considered social beings. And our notion of the social have expanded a lot in just under three minutes. Well, in a world with a lot of environmental issues, if we can take seriously the idea that we're all connected and maybe include those living systems in our family, we can change the way we act in the world. So our families can live long, healthy, and happy, connected lives.